presence of God. She will watch all of you for examples of how to be in the world. When we share our lives in dignity with all of creation by treating others with kindness, patience, compassion, and love, that is what Madeline is going to witness. That's how she will be on the earth. And you've got a perfect family to give you exactly that example, Madeline. So today, we bless Madeline Maytel Camp and pray she will join all of us in being instruments of divine love and peace. She seems very peaceful. Mm -hmm. She is a very welcome addition to your family. And by gathering to bless her, we're showing our gratitude to God for Madeline's presence in our lives. God's loving light will shine through Madeline today and every day of her life. Amen. And I want to make sure you guys don't worry about a thing. I don't know if she gets down the bathroom if you want her to. We just don't want the stairs. But she she will not hurt a thing. And if we see something that would hurt her, we'll grab it away from her. Whatever's best. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we're sure. just you know we're just very relaxed. Here I love that. With whatever so whatever's nice. best for Madeline is what we Thank want. Thank you. So I'm going to read Psalm 100 for us. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures forever. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Okay, and now we'll, we'll lead in with a prayer. How's that? I love it. And I'll make sure that Granny Sue stays with the greats. How about that? Okay. Heavenly Father, Ashley and Randall are blessed beyond measure with the most beautiful children. Continue to guide their parenting and receive their gratefulness for the many blessings of life. Holy One, Allow Jean, Scott, Kim, and Richard to serve as examples of your kind and loving ways to Madeline and all their grandchildren. They have been true beacons of divine behavior as they cherish their family members. Madeline joins them in being the recipient of unconditional grandparenting love, and we are grateful for their spirit-filled ways. May great-grandparents, Granny Sue, Cece, Papa, Mimi Joyce, and great-great-grandmother Roz know and show only deep love for this precious little girl and all their children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Let us not forget the very dear family members who have gone before us. The love we have for them remains very strong in our hearts. May their loving and eternal spirits share their divine light and love with Madeline and the entire family. God of abundance, please fill Gracie as a sister and all the family members with a very strong sense of knowing that you are always with us on this journey of life. Madeline will look to them. Please keep them strong in faith and love. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, here comes the virtue time. Romans 12, 16 says, Let us use different gifts allotted to each of us by God's grace. And so that's where these virtues come in. We remember those from Gracie's, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think I did assign these, but I, I, it doesn't matter which order we go in. And it doesn't matter that they're assigned. I know that Ashley, I was going to give faithfulness. Oh. And let's see, I know, Randall, I was going to let you bring us home with truthfulness. How's that? And let's see. Papa, I think I gave you independence. Hold that for Papa. All right, thank you. And uh, joyfulness. There, you all of them fit you all, so <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Kim, I want you to do creativity. How's that? And Lou, 
Richard, let's go with honor for you. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, in Jean and Scott's absence, will y'all each do another for in representing them? Of course. Okay. So let me say a few words just real quickly about virtues. As we talked about last time, how many years has that been? Four? Three. About three. Yeah, three. I think about that. Three. Wow. Three. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. It's fast. It was fast. <laughs> oh my God. Years go by. It really does. They're the essence of who we are. They are described in the world's sacred traditions as the qualities of God the divine and the attributes of the human spirit. Virtues are the content of our character and the basis of genuine happiness. Are you going to eat yours, Madeline? <laughs> Today we will acknowledge a few of Madeline's many universal gifts of character, spiritual life skills that will help her to live her best life. Okay, so Ashley, why don't you start? If oh, maybe you uh, can't. No, I can. I got it. Um, faithfulness. Oh, you want me to read it to you? No, you go right ahead. And that's what I read this. Yeah, okay? yeah. Faithfulness is being loyal to our beliefs and remaining firm and steadfast regardless of what happens. When our faith is tested, we stay strong and, and learn from the experience. We live <laughs> our life with care and excellence, faithful to our holy creator. <laughs> Perfect. And what's on the back? Oh. Do you have an offering? Oh, I like that. Madeline, stay committed to your beliefs. Give your work the care it deserves. Stand by your friends and loved ones and cherish your friendships and relationships. Presented by Mom. Oh, there Aww. we go. There you go. <laughs> and if I, if I gave you the wrong card, yeah. we'll roll with it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, why don't you go ahead and start with one, Kim, okay. and then we'll circle back later and let you do Jean's. Creativity is the power of imagination. It is openness to inspiration, which ignites our originality. With creativity, we are resourceful and intuitive. Discovering our own special talents is a gift to the world. Madeline, treasure your imagination. Take time for inspiration. Remember to play. Develop your gifts through learning and discipline and dare to be original. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Okay, Richard, how about you choosing? Okay, enthusiasm is the had my name on it. I love that. <laughs> it's being filled with spirit. It means God within. When we live with enthusiasm, we are excited about life. We are open to the wonders each day holds. We do things wholeheartedly with zeal and eagerness, holding nothing back. Ooh, is it, is it, I, I, I chose. <laughs> yeah. oh, gosh. That's Richard. <laughs> That's me. Right? That is you. Okay, Madeline, be excited about life. Let simple things inspire you. Put love and joy into what you do. Smile, laugh, and have a positive spirit. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> she did. She did. Right? Yes. yes. Did you capture that, Paul? I hope you did. Mm -hmm. How did you do uh, that, girl? Okay. Well, Cece, what you want? Are you? Can I'd you do yours? Too. Okay. Joyfulness is an inner wellspring of peace and happiness. It is a deep sense of well-being that fills us with delight and hope. We appreciate the gift of life and savor its richness. We enjoy simple pleasures. Now, Madeline, I want you to maintain a deep sense that life is indeed good. Enjoy the richness of life experiences. Be optimistic and hopeful. Feel inner peace, even when life is difficult. With love, Cece. Oh, there you go. Looks like you're up, Papa. Oh, you gonna read Papa? I'd be glad to. Okay. Yes, Papa. Mm -hmm. This is from Papa. This Paul. is your voice. No, this is good. Yeah. Independence. Oh, we're gonna put it in the box. I forgot oh, that part. Oh, when, yeah. Okay. We're gonna put them in the box for my parents. Now, Madeline, independence is confident self-reliance. We have the courage to see reality with our own eyes and not through the eyes of others. We dare to be our true selves. We responsibly care for ourselves. We stand our own holy ground. So Madeline Pawpaw says, as you grow older, think for yourself. Trust your own decisions, but accept the wisdom shared by your family. Enjoy healthy self-care. Dance to your own music. Oh, are you going to no. do that, Madeline? I bet you are. Wow, look at that. This is a room, as my lawyer brother would have said when he was a lawyer, a room of attractive nuisances. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you. 
Because then you're not responsible. We are because we put them right in your oh, face. Oh, my goodness. That's so fun. <laughs> Ooh. I love this. Okay. <laughs> Let's oh. see here. I, I believe, do you mind terribly, Kim, doing another? Of course. And then we'll go. Yeah. What you're doing out there, and then we'll go to you. This is kindness. Kindness is caring that springs from compassion. We have genuine concern for the welfare of others. We are warm, friendly, and ready to help. We remember to be kind to ourselves. Kindness is the daily bread of love. Mm -hmm. Madeline, practice empathy for others. Notice what people need. Enjoy being helpful and thoughtful. Let kindness awaken your heart. Remember to be kind to yourself, too. Oh, no. yeah. That's so beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Presented by Diddy. Oh, Diddy. That, that Diddy? was for, yeah, that yeah. was for a scuff, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Can I tell them a funny story? Yeah. <laughs> okay. When Car I asked Carol the grandparents' names, you know, the, their mm -hmm. not not your names because I knew that, and she sent them to me, and I said, "Are is the are these the rap stars in your family?" I know. You did it. Did it. That's Papa awesome. Ricky. Yep. Yeah. I it is. Ricky, give me one. I think I saw that too Papa when I first saw that. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. So cute. Okay, and Richard, do you have one for us? And I do. Honor is a deep respect for what we know is right and true. It is living up to the virtues of our character. We honor our abilities by using them for meaningful purpose. Honor is appreciation in action. Madeline, always live your principles. Cultivate the virtues and talents you have been given. Treat yourself and others with dignity and respect. Do what you believe is right. No matter what. Oh, there you <laughs> go. That's right. There you go. Important. And Daddy's going to wind us up. How about that? What does Daddy say? What is Daddy's virtue for you? Truthfulness. Truthfulness is the bedrock of integrity on which we build all of our virtues. It is an ongoing commitment to live by what is real, authentic, and true for us. We do not lie, cheat, or deceive. We tell the truth kindly. Our words and actions are trustworthy. Oh. Madeline, speak only the truth. Do not have the need to impress or deceive others. Let truthfulness be your holy ground. There will be nothing she has to make up about her. Sometimes. That's for sure, right? <laughs> That's right. Oh, gosh, what a gorgeous baby. Yeah. Do, do you guys... I'm going to start crying. I just absolutely... <laughs> she's a little ball of light. Y'all oh, see that? So. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and hey, Madeline... It was just a short time ago that we gathered at your grandparents' house to bless your sister, Gracie Lee Telkamp. And Gracie was going to help us with this, but you know what? We're going to just muddle through on our own now. But we bless, we bless Gracie as the big sister, and we know Madeline's going to look to her, and we know they're just going to be the best of friends. So Randall, Ashley, and Gracie, Gracie in absentia. I want to say that God, please bless a special blessing upon this family and especially big sister Gracie. May there be joy and laughter between the girls and her parents. May they be the best of friends and may they cherish one another for all their lives. So that was Gracie's blessing. So it's a big sis. Beautiful. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to land. It definitely will. <laughs> Okay, now let's bless you with those elements because we're nearing the end. You've been so good. Okay? We're going to bless you with the elements of the universe, Madeline May Telkamp. And when you were born, you received the breath of Christ the moment you were born. You just took it in. And I bet you let out a big cry, too, because you were excited. And today we're going to further anoint you with earth, fire, and water. All right. Brandon, why don't I let you do it, sweetheart? Uh, okay, let's do the earth first. And here's her joystone, and you'll just, you'll just, I'm going to say the, the words, and then you can just rub that on your foot. How's sure. that? Okay. We bless you with the earth. May you stay firmly grounded and always have an appreciation of our gorgeous planet and remain respectful of its resources. There you go. She <laughs> likes it. It looks like you're going to be massaging feet every night. Same massage. Uh -uh. Fantastic. Are you a grounded lady? <laughs> yes. There you go. Uh -uh. 
We also, Madeline, bless you with fire. May the light of Christ burn brightly in your life as a beacon for all others to see. Where's your fire, Madeline? <gasps> and just think, you're not far away from saying, Anaboma, Anaboma, Anaboma. <laughs> and you'll get to, too. And we also bless you with water. May this water keep you pure in thought and word and deed throughout your life. Okay, now I don't know if she's going to go to that. I think we'll, we'll just do a little. How's that? Madeline, congratulations. Did you like it? Oh. Did you like it? Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, you are such a beautiful person. Yes, you are. Yes, I mean. yes, we're going to be friends. I know we are. I know we are. Yes, I know. Permanent friends. Absolutely. You are blessed. Okay. We have a plan of continuously living in God's light. You brought it. Let us trust the light of God within to awaken us to our full potential. And as we stand together in the circle or sit together in the circle of family love, let us, well, well, we'll just say the closing prayer here. I'll say it on our behalf, shall we? Yes. Glorious creator of this beautiful earth and all its inhabitants, provider of our every need, Thank you for the blessings you have bestowed upon our homes and on this family. For all the days we've had together and all the days to come, we thank you. For the joys and sorrows that bind us ever closer, we thank you. For the trials we've overcome, we thank you. For teaching us that we can do big or small things with great love, we thank you. And especially for the gift of Madeline May Tell camp, God, we truly and humbly thank you. Amen. Amen. And Amen. Madam Queen, you are blessed. Aww. You came that way, but we just had to do it for us. Too. I, I'm just so honored. This is, you know, it's, uh, I just try to open up my channel of connection and share it. And it's just, I love it. So it's thank you guys for coming over. And thank you, you know, I, I thank y'all for coming over today too. Oh, because we've had some, we had a blessing for Carol here before. And I think I've done two baby blessings in here for my great nephews. And, um, Perfect spot. And it, it, yes. well, well, it's, I like it. You know what it used to be filled with? I don't know if y'all know. It was sports memorabilia. Oh. And it was, the room was hunter green. And it had, you know, dark leather sofas. And it was just dark, almost like a, what do you call it? A gentleman's room, so to man speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a man cave. And, but we, nobody ever came up here. And Tony just, you know, he said, I just don't love this stuff that much. And so I said, I have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Lighten this up and put all my stuff. Yeah. So now it's peace. Mom, can you go stand behind? I'll get a picture of everybody. Oh, sure, yeah. sure. Come on, Paul. Paul, can you go come over and get in the pic? I'll have that. And then we'll get. We'll make sure Jean and Gracie get one for us. You got to live with this. Come on. Oh, you're. Are, oh, you do, are you still filming? I don't know. I'm holding, <laughs> I'm holding the machine. So we gotta come over here. Come on, Doc. Come on, Doc. Yeah. I, I tell you, I'm sure. in awe. I, I, because I remember Gracie being really engaged. Um, I'm sure. I honestly, she was. I, 